Oh, what's happening over here, guys? Don't mind me just being an ordinary... Oh, my guy's getting beat down. Oh, he's just getting beat down. He's arrested now. Welcome, everybody, to Beholder. I am your host for this evening. The totalitarian state-installed scumbag of a spying landlord, Falcon. And you heard that correctly. This is a really interesting take on a dictatorship-type game where you are essentially entrusted with the idea of feeding information to this motherland of a country that is actually under a dictatorship. Um, you are going to be the landlord of this building. People will come in, you will actually get people to move in, and you spy on them with cameras and just, you know, eavesdropping, talking to them and, like, you know, getting information out of them. And it's up to you whether you want to go ahead and feed that information back to the motherland itself, or if you'd rather just kind of, like, bribe those individuals, or just keep that information to yourself to kind of give, like, the middle finger to the country itself. Really interesting title. Let's get into the game over here as soon as possible. Oh, what's happening over here, guys? Don't mind me just being an ordinary... Oh, my guy's getting beat down. Oh, he's just getting beat down. He's arrested now. Welcome, everybody, to Beholder. I am your host for this evening, the totalitarian state-installed scumbag of a spying landlord, Falcon. And you heard that correctly. This is a really interesting take on a dictatorship-type game where you are essentially entrusted with the idea of feeding information to this motherland of a country that is actually under a dictatorship. Um, you are going to be the landlord of this building. People will come in, you will actually get people to move in, and you spy on them with cameras and just, you know, eavesdropping, talking to them and, like, you know, getting information out of them. And it's up to you whether you want to go ahead and feed that information back to the motherland itself, or if you'd rather just kind of, like, bribe those individuals, or just keep that information to yourself to kind of give, like, the middle finger to the country itself. Really interesting title. Let's get into the game over here as soon as possible. I should note, this is indeed a beta version of the game, as you can see in the bottom right corner here, so it's really early in development, so I just wanted to make that known to you guys. It is indeed a beta title. Dear Carl Stein, we are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Kruschwitz 6. You must arrive there immediately and start working. You and your family are given an apartment on the first floor. The experimental medicine you've been injected with during the medical checkout suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. He did that intentionally, i.e. he became an outlaw. Since now every activity of tenants is your business. And the word everything means... The word everything means absolutely everything. You will follow every step of theirs and write down any suspicious activity. Of course, if you want to gain the reputation of a good public servant. If you're going to be the perfect beholder, write down hobbies, interests, and even or even talks. How can I do this? You need to uh, observe and record. Surveillance cameras will help. Let's start with the beginning. Have you ever managed the house before, Carl? Do you need any help? Let's go ahead and do the tutorial for this one here. I'll need your help. I'll help you deal with this be all your eyes to surroundings. Here's your duty journal. It's always located on the right. Scroll the tabs and have a look at it. Then we'll continue our talks. So over here, you'll be able to find out what your current task is at the moment. Over here, you'll have information about all your apartment tenants, so you'll be able to actually click on them and find information about them, even your family members as well. I wonder if that's going to have something to play in the future as well. Like, maybe you could even finger your your family. Not like literally finger finger, you perverts, but I mean like, you know, dime them out on some sort of information in case you want to go down that way. If you want to be the perfect state official anyway. And these will be the other tenants over here as you go forward. You'll be able to unlock more apartments down the line too. And then these will be the laws in effect at the moment. So at the, here we have prohibited to cover up for criminals. So if you do that, you're breaking the law. This is what's prohibited. And over here will be like messages you receive over time. Okay. 
Let's come back to the surveillance. Set up surveillance cameras in the house to make your work easier. According to the documents, your predecessor received two of them. Find them in your office. It's on the right of the living room. Okay. So right now we have to come over on this side. We could basically just speed this up as well. We'll search for these um, cameras. Now I do believe you start off with some decent cameras, but um, the ones you'll early or you'll be able to buy early to spy on your tenants will be kind of shitty. They'll have like a really small narrow view. So, um, but you start off with some really good ones. However, you have to set these up in the canteen early on, so you don't have a, a choice on where you're going to put the really good ones at. Great, you found the cameras. Install them in the common canteen. Follow me. I like how my family's just standing around like, what's happening right now? Uh, don't worry, Daddy's just working, becoming uh, the biggest scumbag of all time. And I'm okay with that. So, we have to install the cameras. Go ahead and install camera number one over here. And we'll follow it up by camera number two over here. Now, anything that happens here is going to be noted to us in our little I guess, surveillance room area here. So, even if we're not here to witness uh, uh, an act being cost or you know something that's against the law as long as in the camera we'll be able to report it to the government if we wanted to go down that way which i am I'm gonna be a scumbag for this round i apologize uh, i see you're doing fine this is your first reward spend your money on required things in the shop you'll receive surveillance cameras for reputation points reputation points show your reputation you receive them for completing duty tasks you can also use them for personal gain in order to persuade people around you unfortunately i have issues to deal with in the ministry However, you can call me anytime from your working place using your private line and ask any question. By the way, Carl, I strongly discourage you ignoring the phone calls. Remember that you and me serve our great people, and, complex and completion of directions and orders of the ministry are bread, water, and air. Now the main thing, several tenants are at risk. Your predecessor couldn't cope. Hope you will do better. How can I do this? First of all, watch the tenants closely. File a report as soon as you gather evidence, police will take care of the rest. Between ourselves, our great state can be very grateful to those who do their work in a proper way. The ministry can even turn its blind eye to forgery or blackmail if this helps you achieve your goal. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll do my best. I like your eagerness. And he's going to give us a key that gives us access to every single room in this apartment complex. Okay. So now we have to just top this off by coming down over here and calling the ministry as soon as possible. And we'll get access to the entire apartment up above. Ministry of Order, your call accepted. Hello, Carl. You've learned your main duties, ready to receive a task. Absolutely. Set surveillance camera in apartment number two. Jacob Manischek lives there. You can always buy required cameras in the state shop. Be careful when enter a tenant's apartment when they're not at home. So you have to definitely make sure you're not home when you come in there to, you know, start, you know, finding information or maybe even selling cameras because they will kind of like freak out about that, obviously. I mean, obviously you go through the stuff, but you're trying to make sure that the civilians are under the impression that you are a scumbag of the state itself. Now, the other thing we have to do is talk to um, tenants to find out more information about them. That's going to help you down the line, maybe even file reports properly. So let's talk to her here. A quaint. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm a new house manager. It's nice to meet you. I am Maria Shimmer. Have you brought your family here? Uh, we moved in just recently, and it would be nice to meet you. Nothing from her. Okay. Here's my wife. I could talk to the wife as well, but she has basically asked me about what's happening with the guy they arrested and if it's going to happen to me. And as long as I follow the rules, it should not happen to me. Who are you? You bug-eyed individual. Good afternoon. Hello, miss. Let me introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm a new house manager. My name is Rose Rannick, dear. It's nice to meet you. You must have already met my naughty husband. Can I pause momentarily and talk? Yeah, I think I can. We also have a son, he's just like you, but he lives in the capital. Okay. Ask about the son. He became a boss, our dear boy. I haven't seen him for so long. So long ago. Ask about the husband. Mark has been working in the archives for his entire life. He likes his job, a lot of papers, not many people. He spends his vacation in a company of his fishing rod. And again, this will be reputation because we're doing a good job. We're finding out information about these people here. So we come over to the profile area and we check out her husband. We have now information about him. He enjoys fishing, and that's going to be useful for whatever reason down the line. Okay, let's unpause momentarily. End dialogue. Now, the guy you're seeing over here, you'll be able to use your actual money to buy items from him. Now, I, am, I still haven't done this myself just yet, but I'm assuming what you do here is sometimes there'll be like laws like forbidding fruits or forbidding some sort of type of music, alcohol, whatever. 
I think you could essentially buy stuff from this guy and then plant it on the apartment of other people you either want to blackmail, you want to report, or whatever you want to do. So I think that's a really cool little feature. But again, right now we're barely starting off, so I don't have to worry too much about that. But I think that's the premise of this guy over here. Okay, now, Jacob lives in apartment number two, is what we were told. Is he in here? He's not here right now, huh? He could be at work, I guess. Let's actually get in here, then. Have I bought the cameras? See, yeah. No, no, I don't have any cameras. So let me buy... What just happened? Light went off. Let me buy maybe two cameras just in case. It's going to be costing a reputation over here. But luckily we got some extra reputation by getting information. So we have two cameras for now. Are we paused? Yeah, we're paused. So Jacob isn't here right now. It's the perfect time for us to set up this little camera. And then we'll go through his stuff and find out any information about him. Alrighty, so search apartment number two, which is what we're doing now, and gather information about Jacob. Nothing over here. What about the old bookcase? Nope. Armchair? Nope. Check that out. Three more items over here. Oh, we found something. Okay. Let me pause if we can. We're paused now. Broken bottle. With a necessary skill, the broken bottle turns into a dangerous weapon. Okay, very good to know. We can steal the items, but obviously it's going to tip them off that you've been in here. So, sometimes you have to steal stuff for whatever reason, but at the moment, I don't think we need this. So, we know there is a necessary skill over here with the broken bottle, so... Uh, let, me, let me try it. Attention, theft of others' belongings is prosecuted under the law. To collect information or evidence, just click on the color text, and that's what happens if you go ahead and... Um, do that. So now we have information about him. Make sure you're not paused when you click on that because it doesn't record otherwise if you're paused for whatever reason. So let's find out what's happening here in the television. Nothing. Alrighty, it's fine. Nobody's the wiser that I'm in here right now. That door is closed here. And that's the phone I want to say. Yeah. Here we go. And he also enjoys gambling games. He's a slippery guy, this Jacob, apparently. Okay, so now we have information about him. Call the Ministry. Let's do that. And we better leave before Homeboy shows up and he figures out what we've been in here. So who's this guy? I don't think we've talked to you. Who are you? What do you want from the Honored Archive worker? Let's get acquainted. Let me introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new house manager. Mark Rennick is an honored... Mark Rennick is an honored archive worker, okay? I have to live in this disgusting house. I hope you'll put everything in order here. I'll do my best. Try hard, you need this more than me. Okay, a quaint. Already met? Troubles with memory. Okay, ask about the wife. Rosa works in the canteen, always in the kitchen. She loves baking, loves baking buns and cakes so much that it became her occupation. Wish it didn't smell like cabbage. <laughs> Okay, so now we have information that she loves working in the canteen. Oh, here's Jacob. That is the Jacob guy that we have to kind of like put our finger on. Let's actually talk to him really quickly though. Why not? How you doing there, Jacob? What do you want? Who are you? Let me introduce myself. My name is Carl. Did I win the competition? Who cares about a new damn manager? Oh, this guy's a dick. I don't care about you and your deals. All right. Nothing new? Okay. Doesn't care about me whatsoever. What a jerk. I don't feel bad about um, framing you now, or actually calling it in for you. Now, let me talk to my family. They will sometimes have interactions with the people living here as well. Daughter, will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Ask about the house. Do you like our new home? I like him very much. He's big, and you? <laughs> I like how she refers to the house as a him, and he's big. I like him too. We have three rooms, but used to have one. Moreover, we have a TV set. Will they take out our TV set, Dad? No, honey. Nobody will take it. Patrick says a cartoon is shown sometimes. Ah, that's adorable. Okay, let's go ahead and call and report of what we found about Jacob here. Congratulations, your first task has, was a success. You are awarded. Complex recipes for a chef and 50 reputation points. According to our sources, Jacob Manischik violates state directives. Spy upon him. Use the surveillance camera. When a tenant does something banned within the camera range, the, act the action icon changes its color. Click on the icon to add the evidence to the dossier. Attach gathered evidence to your report. Okay. Reference. Would you like to know? And here you could find out more stuff in case you are a bit lost, but I know what I'm doing, so it's fine. Now we just kind of have to chill 
and wait for Jacob to do something we could actually report him on. So he's hanging out over here. This is the camera feed that we have on him. So now we just kind of have to hang out and wait for him to do something. We also have a bit of mail, so we might as well come up here and go check that out. Come on, Jacob. I know you're not a, a clean guy. There's something fishy about you. Go to the camera and do it there, though. New message received. Charlie Smith, the son of Miner's trade union leader, was found unconscious. Criminals pumped him with drugs, and he is currently being treated and rehab rehabilitated in the hospital. Ministry order advised the citizens to be alert and interf interfere with any attempts to manufacture and spread drugs. Remember, your child could be next, so you're telling me somebody drugged him. I don't really quite believe that. And in the back, we have the voice of truth. Remember, this is a dictatorship, after all. Drugs are a huge problem of the society. We should have started dealing with it a long time ago, not waiting for a VIP to get in trouble. By the way, this is not the first time Charlie Smith is the centerpiece of a scandal. Was he indeed just a victim? Really doubtful. Okay. Oh, camera's right there. Oh, he's doing drugs! This scumbag Jacob Manischek is doing drugs in my apartment building. So, let's see here. As you can see, Directive, drug production is prohibited as Directive 6039. I feel that we have now something to nail this fucker on. Collected materials. It is time for us to make a report on old Jacob. So we want to come down... Oh, let's see. I do believe you have to come down here to do the report. There we go. Bring your ass down here. Carl. Look at him over there. I think he's producing drugs and actually taking them. Let's pause momentarily. So, we want to do a report on... Draw a report on Jacob. So, we want to go for Jacob Matuszek. He lives in apartment number two, as we already know. He has violated 6039, which happens to be... Drug production prohibited from... September 2nd, 1984. Right over here. And now we have to drag the collected materials over here. So, we have items that you've taken from the apartment, you could do that, or the evidence that we have on him, so we come over here to his apartment. We know for a fact he's he's producing drugs, so he makes drugs, we'll put that in the materials collected. Send that report in. Okay. We have now reported it. Uh-oh, here comes the police. This is the police. Whoop, whoop. It's the sound of the beast. Okay, let's just get up here and find out what's happening firsthand. Uh-oh. This lady's upset about something. Oh, what's happening over here, guys? Don't mind me just being an ordinary... Oh, my guy's getting beat down. Oh, he's just getting beat down. He's arrested now. All right, let's come down really quickly and find out what my son is over here. He's calling somebody. Who are you calling, Donk? I already called the police. Yes, Father? Talk about work. You guys can read this while this happens over here if you want to. Um, as I mentioned, this guy doesn't really like our job. He's very anti-establishment. Learn about what happened. Why are you wandering around the house, Patrick? It's okay. Tell me what happened. That filthy Manishik swore at me. <gasps> well, don't worry, son. He's being beat up and arrested right now. He decided I was standing near his door. I was fastening shoelaces near the flower. He said he would blow my head off if he'd ever see me again near the door. Don't worry, I'll bring him to justice. He won't touch you. <laughs> so there was something troubling our son, and we found that it was that Jacob guy. But now he has basically been dealt with. We got a bit of money and some reputation points as well. Uh, crime and punishment. Repair apartment number two and find a tenant for apartment number two. So since he's been arrested now, it's time for us to find somebody that is looking to stay here. We'll choose somebody. We'll also have to repair the apartment, which is going to cost us some money. Let's come up here and find out what's in the mailbox here really quickly. I do believe it's time for us to start wrapping it up as well soon, guys. So, um, Voice of Truth, philosophy is nonsense. Let's see, we didn't read this one. The Ministry of Truth noticed an increasing interest in philosophical books, including the works of Paul Williams, who died a century ago. His books describe obsolete ideas that have been proven to be unrealistic. However, they still capture people's minds. The Ministry believes the ideas of a society without government and priority of the freedom of personal choice are dangerous and that ought to be destroyed. Okay. And what does the voice of truth say? The fact that our society is capable of understanding Paul Williams' ideas in mass proves his unique talent and ability to word things simply. We should encourage that interest to the great thinkers of the past if we want to progress and initiate cultural dialogue between people and the state. Philosophy is nonsense. Okay. We have a new message received as well. 
And we're gonna be pausing right here for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a like, and I will come back and cover more of this going forward. It's a beta game, mind you, so there's still work to be done. But I think there's enough content right now to actually do a small little series on. But let me know how you're feeling about it. I will catch you next time.